Hey guys, got the brand new model from Mammoth Lighting to test today. And very excitingly, it's the first one I've tested with the new Samsung LM301H uh, Evo Mint versions with slightly different spectrum than any grow light I've tested previously. So it'd be really interesting to see um, under test uh, what the difference is in spectrum and what this may mean. This is the 6 bar 680 watt version. There is also an 8 bar 880 watt version available as well. This 680 watt version suits a 5x5 and I'll show you that in a test and also in a 4x4 later on. Um, comes assembled, foldable, simply unfold it, attach the hangers and hang it straight up. And the LED bars are removable in case of need for replacement in the future. The LED driver is an Inventronics high efficiency driver mounted on the back of the bars here as you can see, although you can remount it remotely with um, extended cables. Comes with dimming on board, so it's adjustable smoothly from 10% up to 100%. And you also have the connection points here for external uh, dimming control, lighting control, or also daisy chaining multiple fixtures. So where it gets really interesting here is their LED choice and the spectrum output. This is a, this has a mixture of LEDs on it. So there's a uh, warm white and cool white Samsung LM301Bs, uh, high quality LEDs. They are mixed with 660 nanometer deep reds and 730 nanometer far reds. You can see here um, on the spectral radiometer report the, um, the peaks of the blue, the red, and the far red. But added to this is um, these mint Evo whites. You can see here they're, they're, they're a mint white color. Um, they shift the peak of the blue from 450 nanometers um, to a lower um, wavelength of 437 nanometers. You can see the comparison here between a standard LED grow light and this mint white Evo. So Samsung have done tests with these mint white Evos on lettuce grows, which have determined that there is a higher photosynthetic efficiency uh, from this spectrum. Basically you get more growth per watt consumed, but also that it would benefit the plants um, in terms of the health of the plants and their likelihood to succumb to disease. Uh, there is a link to a video below which Mammoth has posted which um, shows the detail of this uh, spectrum shift and also the, um, the science behind the claim of, um, as I said, increased photosynthetic efficiency and improved growth quality and, um, and robustness. But this 680 watt six bar fixture, as I said, is suited to a 4x4 or a 5x5. Um, it has 469 diodes per bar. So expecting a good efficiency out of this fixture. So hung it first in the 5x5 at the recommended hang height of 18 inches or 45 centimeters. That's from the underside of the light to the top of the um, test um, uh, surface. I use the uh, Apogee 610 EPAR sensor, um, which measures um, in, or includes in the measurement the far red, which is emitted from this fixture, and took in the 5x5 five 100 measurements in a grid across the test area. The average power was 763 micromoles per meter square per second, and it resulted in an efficiency of 2.52 micromoles per watt. That's the total power output div divided, or it's total power reaching the plant canopy, I should say, uh, divided by the wattage consumed uh, of 680 watts. So that's a really good system efficiency. Then dropped it into the four by four. Again, hung it at uh, 18 inches or 45 centimeters hanging height. Much smaller area, it's gonna be much higher power intensity, of course. In this case, it's 1145 micromoles average. That's right up into the zone where you'd want to be considering enhancing CO2 uh, to take uh, advantage of that high power intensity. 
and that delivers a system efficiency in terms of usable PPF per watt of 2.12 micromoles per watt. The difference there is that far more light is being reflected off the reflected walls, reflective walls in the 4x4 and you're getting more light losses in that case. Overall it's really interesting to see this new development in the horticultural LED range with this drop in the peak in the blue down to 437 nanometers. It'll be interesting to see uh, if growers or if or what growers see in terms of a difference in, um, in efficiency and um, the quality of the plants over time. These fixtures are ETL and DLC listed and fully commercially rated and suitable for uh, rebates and um, very good value for money. Six bar, 680 watt is $849 and the eight bar, uh, 880 watt is $999. So very good value for money for this, um, you know, what is leading edge technology in terms of LEDs. So congratulations to Mammoth. Hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd be interested to see, hear what you think about this uh, development in terms of the LED output and spectrum.